Rebar coils or flat bars are loaded into the machine. These rods are usually made of high-strength steel and come in a variety of diameters. The machine uses a bending mechanism to shape rebar into a spiral form. This mechanism may include rollers or other components that guide the rebar as it bends. Modern machines often have programmable controls that allow operators to set desired properties for the spiral rebar, such as diameter, pitch, and number of turns. Once the rebar is formed into a spiral shape, the machine may include a cutting system to cut the rebar to the required length. The finished spiral rebar is then typically collected or transported for further processing or storage. A reinforcing cage, also known as a rebar cage or reinforcing cage, is installed according to structural engineering requirements. The cage consists of vertical and horizontal steel bars rebar, that provide strength to the foundation. Once the reinforcement cage is in place and secured, the next step is to pour concrete into the excavation. Concrete covers the reinforcement cage that forms the foundation structure. During and after pouring concrete, vibration equipment is often used to eliminate air bubbles and ensure proper compaction of the concrete around the reinforcement cage. Proper compaction increases the strength and durability of the foundation. After the concrete is poured and compacted, the surface is finished according to the project specification. This may include leveling the top surface and ensuring proper slope for water drainage. The concrete is then allowed to cure and gain strength over time. The foundation of the Burj Khalifa consists of a large reinforced concrete mat supported by perforated reinforced concrete friction piles. The foundation of the Burj Khalifa extends to a significant depth to reach solid bedrock, providing stability tea. Board piles are frequently used in the construction of tall buildings. These are deep foundation elements that are drilled and poured into the ground. Piles provide support by transferring the load from the structure to a stable layer of soil or rock below the ground surface. Diaphragm walls include a method used in slurry wall construction. Reinforced concrete walls are used to support the ground and control water. Deep foundations of high-rise buildings often include monitoring systems to evaluate the behavior of the foundation during and after construction. This may include devices that measure slump, slope, and other parameters.